Guida, last night you were saying the strangest things in your sleep. What was it? Come on, tell me! Hey, don't go telling weird stories about me. You were chanting magic spells. So what? That's not scandalous or anything. Shut up! What were you expecting, anyway? Rita, I think all this fighting we've been doing is getting to you. Rita, you were so cute saying spells in your sleep. What are you talking about? But I have to say, I was pretty surprised when the spell actually worked. Seriously? You see, Rita, you should really get a little more rest. How much of that was true and how much of it was a total lie? Oh, I've never been very good at lies. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot that you got that stuff if you use them a lot. I also need to do that quickly, because I was blasting my ears out there. Okay, so... We've killed Gusios. Let's have a good time. So now, we just gotta make our way... I used the D-pad by accident. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that's a new weapon. A new attack, even. Like, flat out. Yeah, that works. Really? That could have been really cool, but it wasn't. So, yeah. yeah I'm done. still gonna have to try and figure out... Okay. Raven just learned a bunch of skills there. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Got all that stuff. What does extra combo do again? Alright, okay, yeah. That's about timing a bunch of good stuff. No. No. You got anything you repeat? Nope. Nope. So I guess best stuff for that one, because you've got everything now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that now. Why does that give more charisma? A uh, magic attack. I'm I'm 99 percent certain that Carol is not a magic based fighter. Oh wait, what is it doing there? I need to see Raven, because yeah, he's the one that just got the new stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, just his best stuff now. Cool. Oh, wait. I was using the weak uh, stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Oop. You filled up quite a bit of that monster book, Carol. We still have half of it to go, but it's filling up nicely. You've been pretty diligent filling it in. I thought you never stuck to anything at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. He probably had to stick with it since he showed it to just about everybody. No! It's not like that! Oh, it isn't? Well then, as long as you've made it halfway, let's see you finish it up. Of course I will! Alright, good luck. If you get tired of it, I'd be happy to carry on from where you left off, Carol. I imagine you'd enjoy it too, huh? <laughs> I want to finish this myself, so I'll keep at it! So, at least I know I can get every single monster in the monster book. I think. I think. I should be able to, so long as I'm careful. And when I say, so long as I'm careful, I mean, I don't remember where I'm meant to go here. I think it's the left. Just gonna dodge these guys. At this point, I am doing quite a bit of dodging about. That's mostly just because I... I one of the big problems at this. So his family was killed by the Intellikea. Clint, was it? The grudge he's got against them won't fade anytime soon. Maybe he has his reasons, but I think just hunting monsters has been his purpose for a while. I was like him once. I only lived to destroy Blastia. But you've grown since then. Then maybe he can still change, like you did, Judith. I don't know. Either way, we've got our own goals to worry about. Right, Carol? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Wait, I don't know if that was like an original skit from the ah crap. I wasn't paying attention from the uh, from the original this game, like or it was just yeah, where they just. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, okay, I'm stoned. I didn't know that one of these had that ability. Just gonna keep doing this. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, oh, that was only a small one. Man, Yuri's burnt for a lot of his TP. Wait, I just realized, have I fought these things? I suppose I could try. Okay, I have, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go for these assholes. Fine, I mean, we're gonna be restocking soon anyway. Now, I know at least there's one thing that I need to do. In... Jeez, I forget its name. It's the, um... I don't know why. I want to say Yongun Forest, but I know it isn't Yongun Forest. Yeah, I don't for the life of me remember which... When it is, I was doing this because I need to get Yuri's skills up. Oh, dead end. Okay. Oh. <sighs> oh, Goosey turned into gnome safe and sound. That's a load off. Yes, it would have been tragic if he'd transformed into an autophagos. Yeah, he's just fulfilling the role he was meant to play. I doubt he ever thought that his transformation might have caused the cataclysm itself. I feel for the poor Entelikea who became autophagos in the past. If only they'd had the option of spirit conversion. Young lady, don't dwell too much on all the what-ifs. Maybe they didn't have a choice. But those who became Autophagos are trying to devour this world. That is the reality. I know. But it's just so sad. Yeah, give me a second. I just gotta do something here quickly. Yeah, I gotta don't mind that, just somebody flogging stuff. Mm, not having it. Yeah, it basically was saying like, hey, we've noticed that you're in bad position because of, you know, the number of views. And I'm just here like, bitch, fucking, I don't do this for a job, I do this for fun. We will not go easy on you. I don't care if I don't have any viewers, because half the time I don't. Like, if I cared that much, I'd make active efforts to, you know, improve stuff, like a schedule. Like, the closest to a schedule I get is, oh, yeah, you know, I'll stream at about 4 p.m. Yeah, around that time, on a Sunday. That's, that's the thing with me. I don't... Like, my YouTube and all that stuff, it's... It's purely just for fun. Like, in the past, I did have monetization for YouTube stuff. But even then, I wasn't there like, yeah, I'm going to do it for the money. Like, I I literally only got about the amount, about, I think, it would equal about 10 bucks a year, maybe? You picked the wrong people to fight with. I think. Like, I was hardly going to get anything for my YouTube monetization, so I'm just there like, eh, it's fine. It's not my full-time job anyway. Again, this is all just a hobby to me. Would I want it to be, like, a full-time thing? I don't know, maybe. It'd be nice, but... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna make an active effort. I'm in Brainiac mode. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's not what I want, but that's fine. Okay, Rita, you do that, then. Yeah, like I. It feels so mysterious here, almost like a fantasy novel. I like it here. Are you serious? It'd be even nicer if these sparkling crystals weren't hurting my eyes so much. Oh, I've already gotten used to that. Hmm. 
Well, now that you mention it, it's not really bothering me either. I guess I'm okay with it. Huh? Yeah, me too. What? You mean I'm the only one who's still getting blinded here? All right, let's get back to the task at hand. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. <laughs> I'm ready for more. I feel so left out. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised Raven didn't make a joke there saying like, Oh, yeah, no, I've got used to it. I'm used to being blinded by Judas Radiance or something like that. Also, it's kind of funny that they call, uh, Rave Dash. Crap. Well, no magic for me. That they, uh, what to call it? They call Raven an old man. I'm pretty sure he's only in his 30s. I could be wrong, I haven't checked that part. Because if he, uh... Because I'm pretty sure Judith's, like, in her mid-twenties? I don't know. It's funny, I love this game so much, but I can't remember the particulars of, like, the character's age outside of, you know, what they say in the actual cutscenes, because I mean, I, I'm fairly certain that uh, Rita said that she was 16 and, like, Estelle said she turned 19 or something like that. I don't know. I don't particularly remember, but now I can do my little test or my little thing to see if I can get the fell arms. Ooh. So Area Lumen is something Gusio's created. Right. I remember seeing a similar crystal back at Ker Bakram. Yeah, you were pretty absorbed in that thing. The Rita radar never lets any objects of interest go undetected. Oh, I forgot. If Gusios undergoes spirit conversion, I won't be able to investigate him. There goes the Rita radar. Don't get carried away now. Okay, so let's, let's give it another try. Ah. Actually, wait, no, there's a neck cranny over here. Yeah, let's give it another search. This is literally all it's going to be. Just, I will proceed part way through. Oh, wait, I need to doggy map. Jeez, he's taking over more and more areas. I need to start. I need to start retaliation. Uh, so, what we'll do is we'll rest over here. I got plenty of maps. So mainly, this is the bit where the game kind of... Wait, that looked like a new enemy. I suppose I could try. No? I, I couldn't. Okay. Oh, I thought... Oh, wait. No. He had... He needed to like proper learn it. You thought you could win? Okay, yeah, so that was one which I have already done. Okay, so rest it there, go over to this island, rest here. Also grab this stuff here. Jeez, this jeez, that was a lot of stuff. I've only got three lenses, so I'm gonna need to use more of them. Okay, so, air crane cycle. Actually, first, let's check some out here. There's two bits I want to check. Two or three bits I want to check, really. Nope. And they're actually all over here. Because you can get a law thing. Oop. Was Guzios and Kerbakram in order to feed on the air? Yes. That's how the hunting blades managed to trap him in their reverse barrier. So is that what you and Baal were doing there, Judy? Did you go to save Guzios? Not originally. We went there to destroy the Hermes Blastia, creating the reverse barrier. Besides, in the end I was unable to save Guzios. He wasn't allowed to decide whether he was for or against becoming a spirit. It's not your fault. 
There was nothing else you could have done. We won't let his sacrifice be for nothing. We'll use the spirits well and defeat the Autophagos. Right. Yes. Baul says that aside from spirit conversion, he will do everything in his power to aid us. I'm glad he's on our side. Okay, then Tenza, because because you can get a law thing involved in this. Like it's this is one of the big problems with. Uh, there's also actually a cutting I can get here as well, but I'm gonna see if I can trigger that. It's literally just from walking back. No. Hmm. Here's the thing: I've played a lot of this game, but nearer to the end game the particular triggers elude me like i know there are several triggers that i need to hit in order to get the end results i need the biggest pain in the ass is judith's like like judith's spear is just a pain in the ass okay so so, 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 here's, here's the things I'm going to do before going to the next dungeon is I am going to go back to, oh, it was Ker Bakram. The, it was, the forest was Ker Bakram. So I gotta, I'm going to keep talking to the sage simply because I need to, the, the easiest way I can be safe in the knowledge that I trigger the EX dungeon is that I keep coming back here and talking to the sage every now and then. If he's here. He is not. Although that being said, I may have already triggered it at this point. So, to explain, the specific triggers that I am looking for is there is a trigger before the final town is unlocked for Judith Spear, there is a trigger for the air crane that'll give me... You know what? I bet you it's after I get Sylph. Like, I am almost certain that Sylph is the trigger for the air crane, but I, I'm still going to go ahead. And see if I can go for these triggers. Simply because I don't I don't trust myself. I'm trying to think of any other triggers that I need to do. Okay, so there's one trigger that I think I can do immediately. That is almost a guarantee. Like, I'm fairly certain that the spirits on a... Well, the spirits are a requirement, but they, but they aren't a requirement. I need to go back to Ker Bakram. I need to head to where the Green Menace was. That's an important caveat that I need. I think that's the right wording for it. Uh, look. Nope. See, what's meant to happen with the air crane. I don't think I've even explained it. What I need to do with the air crane is that I get near it and the spear fell arm pops up. I know there's a trigger over here that I'm going to need to go for once, uh, once the final area spawns. But not for now. Uh, no, it's not here, either. Okay. So I got a trigger. So I guess I'll go around it. I guess what I'm going to be doing is essentially going around in a lap. And then I got to stop at Jormgen. Yeah, I think it's Jormgen. Fairly certain it's Jormgen. I just heard thunder outside. I was, rather, I was just there for a second like, hey, wait, is this a game? I was seeing if anything triggers here. But then it's like, yo, wait, hang on a second. No, that's, uh, that is thunder and lightning. Well, they did warn of a storm. Okay, what the hell? I could have I sworn that Kaufman 
spawns here. Ugh. I I know for a fact that there that there's something here involving Kaufman. Maybe I missed the trigger. I hope I didn't. Because I think that's what that's like a key trigger. I know there's one at Cave. Mar Wait, am I? Wait, I think I'm confusing it. No, 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 no. Care Bakram is where I need to go at the end of the spear. Actually, because I, because I've killed Gusios now, I wonder if that means that there'll be one for. Because the the Care Bakram, the the Care Bakram place, does have something there, I believe. Yeah, I'm uh, just gonna take the risk. Hey, it's not raining. Okay, hitbox. Eh, fine. More great, I guess. Yay. Okay, so it was like you go over here, and Judith and Rita have a conversation. Or not. Okay. Also, I highly doubt the entire area down there is flooded. I know I have to come back here. Let me just check here. Is it Care Bakram here? Yeah. Okay, so I was confusing Cave Mark and Care Bakram. That's what I was doing. So, Gus Forost. I need to go back to there. Oh. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I know of one more new fight. Actually, actually, for what I think, I know of one more fight that happens. It's a battle against Clint. Now, here's the thing. I don't know when that fight is, but what I do know is that in the original, there was a fight, not a fight, there was a cutscene here where Carol says Nan and gets the invitation that you need for the 100-man melee. Piece of cake. One shot should do. <laughs> so what I'm wondering, and what I think is going to happen, is simply the fact that uh, I get the feeling this Nan fight is going to, t this Nan cutscene is going to turn into a Clint fight. Now this is just me guessing. I need to remember what the tr how you get the trigger here. I think it's just I go to a certain area. Oh yeah, it's rain outside. So that was not me going crazy. That was thunder and lightning. Yeah, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Yeah, just. Oh, what the hell does Capra do again? You thought you could win. Okay, so I need to remember, was the trigger just continuing onward to here? See, there was there was there was a trigger here. I'm not crazy on this one. Is it? You know, I bet I know what it is. I bet I know exactly what it is. They they've probably changed the ordering of the trigger. Which is what's confusing me. Because I knew, I know from the cutscene with Nan, it was immediately after Gusios. You could do it. I'm 99% certain. Yeah, I'm just gonna escape this. 99% certain that was the case. I can't be making that I swear, if I'm making that up, then that's my brain's fault. Jeez, come on, really? Ah, yeah, fine. That was a nice little break. Okay, there we go. Unless they didn't... They didn't move the trigger point, did they? 
Like, not so much as, like, when. Because, <coughs> here's the thing. There is... Oh wow, it's really going down out coming down out there. Let my let my brain just reset for a second because it's gone confused. So Act Free is where you need to get the invitations for the hundred man melee. Memory serves for the hundred man melee. Wait, what? This again? This is a new one. Huh? Okay, this... I don't remember this cutscene. I don't remember this particular scene. Yeah, I don't remember this scene. I am very confused. I am extremely confused. I... I'm very confused. I don't remember that. At all. Even remotely. Was that a natural thing in the original? Maybe I just ace the original so good that, you know. And eh, let's just go ahead and restock with some stuff here. Don't have all the stuff that I want, but it has enough. Besides, I got money. That. Can I emphasize anything good? Wait, there's a thing I need to go to, but I'm just gonna quickly check. Can I find? Damn it! Damn it! I need bunny ear wings. You know what? I'm I'm good with what I've got at the moment. Anything at all? Nope. Okay. So it's now. I am just banking off the idea that there's going to be just this this particular scene. What I'll do is I will check areas just to be on the safe side. See, there's nothing that look, looks interesting. Oh, he looks... Nope! He looks unique. I was wrong. 
I, I don't want to just try and go for Sylph, but... Maybe I have to. Maybe that's maybe everything got pushed a bit upwards. Now let's talk to the Bunny Guild guy. Cause I know I've gotten quite a few titles hit. Man, it's gone empty in here. Nope. Okay. What about in here? Nope. Where is everybody? Pretty sure I. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Screw it, I will get. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Sylph. Just check in here for one last thing. You look interesting. Nope. You, I think you had stuff for me. Cool. I'm sorry, what? Estelle and Rita? Excuse me? I don't know why Rita would have that. Okay, there's that. Hey, it kind of suits her, but what? Anything over here? Nope. Well, okay, then. That was... Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that little wolf stuff. I don't know if that was a new thing that they added or not. I need to buy food as well, but I'll do that in me also. Okay. I do want to check one thing. Not this, but given it's right next to me, you know. This is like going to be my goddamn ritual until it actually happens. You know, because it shows you what an air cranny looks like when you get Sylph? Probably the reason why. Yeah, you know... Yeah, okay, go to what I was originally coming here for. The Hot Springs and the Giganto. So I think I got enough gold. Oh, 50,000 per person. Thankfully, I don't think this is one which can go wrong, I guess. Like, you can't skip a particular trigger on this one. Wait, what am I doing? I, I don't want to be doing that. Yeah, whatever. I'll just do it to shift you over here a little bit. Because I want to see... Giganto? Giganto. The giganto monster that spawns here. Nope. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Was it there or was it over here? I know it's around here. Ah, forget it. It's not showing up. Is this still... Yep, still can't go here. Probably have to Sylph. God, they put like a bunch of triggers behind Sylph. Probably. He also's over there. Ah, screw it. To this area. I think I'm at that level now where I'll be fine. Nope. Slight detour to pick this up. Wait, you're a new enemy. 
This looks easy. One shot. Never mind. Let's just go. No, we won't. I'm just trying to think the particulars that I might be missing. Top of my head. No, 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 no. I don't think I'm missing anything at this point. Yeah, you son of a. We will not go easy on you. Well, I'm gonna be finding these assholes anyway, so. Oh. oh, damn it. So I think these guys poison. Oh, well, either way. Through here we go. This is Reloise? <coughs> yes, Baul says it is. But I don't see any air crane or Entelikea. Looks like we can take this path down. It's a long way down. Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold. Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. Th that's not true! Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like it that's, looks all, like we that's all we can do. Hey, hey why don't we just ride Baul all, all the way to the bottom? The bottom. No, no, it's narrow, it's narrow and, and the wind is all over the place. the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a river way down at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. Ah, the power of nature. Who knows how long it took to make this. Whoa! I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. <laughs> Well, just make just sure make you don't sure you slip don't and fall. fall. All right. So. Let's go ahead. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Get ready I've already caught this thing, though. I'm just gonna... Just gonna keep going. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this until he can be, uh, crit, whatever. Fatal strike, that's the word. Or I can just kill it. Outright killing it works too. Ooh, a 40 staff. New weapon! Ooh, that is actually much better. Should I? Nah, no fine. I suppose I could try. Oh, these are new enemies anyway. No. 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 Hey, just chaining that stuff. Come back and try again. Hey, nice. That's a lot of grade I got there. Which is good, because post game, or if I new game plus, I'll have this access to the grade shop. Don't just stand there. You know, you guys keep saying Fine. that, and that doesn't make me come very happy. It's like, oh, yeah, this one looks pretty tough. 56. Okay, all right. Yep, so got this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? 
got that. Stop approaching. Really? Really? Hey! Killed two with one fatal strike. Alrighty. Left, I think. I think it's left. I think it's left. Well, whether or not it is, stop. This enemy doesn't look so nice. We a strong lizard and a roctus. Okay, they're all 56. Except that. Yeah, it's not weak again. Damn it. Oh well. I mean, you know, if it's still gonna just give me this stuff. Like, if it's just gonna keep giving me Brainiac. I can basically regenerate all of my stuff back. Just by spamming the variable trigger. It's a bit boring, I'll admit. But, uh, you know. I think I'm a little bit under leveled. I mean, under-equipped in the armor sense. I don't think that... Under-leveled and under-equipped, I should say. Yeah, I'm just spamming this still. More honor for this blade. A new skill. Okay, cool. New skills. Nope. Okay, next weapon. Well, that... Okay. Gonna. I want to stun you. There we go. Just make it a bit quicker. We have a great opening now. Still Brainiac mode. Jeez. Still, still going. Still going. Ow. Ow. Still going. Just don't just stand. Why did I do that? There we go. I'm still good. I mean, hey, they're gonna keep giving me Brainiac. Oh, that worked. Cool, over limit boost. give me any TP, but it sure heals a lot. Nope. Oh, wait, no, I was looking at Yuri's. Nope. I think this is the right way. I have been trained by knights. I oh. Jeez, I hope there's not too many more of these guys. Okay. I'm in advanced mode. Ow. Ow. That's a good roll. There we go. Thankfully, I can cancel my hits pretty easily. That's the wrong one. That was also the wrong one. I leveled up and got literally nothing outside of a level up. I don't know why, but that feels a bit weird. Really? There's a nasty one. Don't... Just stand there whining. Oh, normal, really? Yeah. All right, Brainiac it is. No. Someone protect me while I'm casting. Okay. This is not going well for us. 
One more should do it. Okay. One more should do it. Okay. One more should do it. Really? Why did that guy have higher resistance that fail strike more than the others? Ah, uh, you know, that works. I'm just gonna do this. You know, I think I'm wasting more of my TP just trying, just doing variable trigger spam than actually just attacking. Oh, hey, cool. Something for repeat. Yeah, this is where I need an upgrade. Uh, I think it's last. Yep, yeah, left. Our ties to each other will save us. Well, I mean, that still hit everybody, so that kind of works. Oh. All right. Nope. Damn it. One second. I'm going to play this gamble to the fullest. Oh. I don't know how like really Yeah, this actually is getting pretty difficult. Wait, oh, I'm in normal. See, if I knew that, I would have done some of that. Yeah, this is fine. But my god. A lack of damage. Like, just straight up, there's a major lack of damage. Did I just mess at that? Yeah, I have. Yeah, so it's just the seafood stew then. Just gonna sidestep you. Yeah, yeah, I think... Wait, there's also a Giganto here, if I remember correctly. There's a Giganto somewhere around here. I'm, like, 90% certain. I'm skipping a lot of these just because... Yeah, I think it's left again. This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. <sighs> Someone's coming. Person? Here? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. Many thanks for rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochea here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating an Antilochea through an Apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why. Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself. All to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Arafagos will destroy the world. Belius understood. She became Undine and is lending us her power. Pharaoh as well. He was reborn as a freak. The proper form of Terka Lumeres is one in which all living things, including Entelikea, live in their natural state. You understand that as well. But what about Gusios? He was trying to control the air, but then he took too much and became really dangerous. Yeah, I don't want to think what would have happened if we hadn't reincarnated him as Gnome. Indeed, humans in Entelikea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you. So do not interfere with me. 
Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let me go ask him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well, I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Autophagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do, we have to get all the spirits first. Let's focus on that for now. Hey! Full heal area. That's good. Ooh, finally, a new weapon for repeat. I wonder how, when that was going to happen. Oh yeah, Runners and Runners 2, that, uh, what does that do again? That... Oh yeah, when free running key restores TP and, uh, HP. That's actually a really good one. Okay, you know, because it doesn't take, that'll take a while. That is me just... This is my... That was my fun locking up and deciding that I was going to make that choice. Wait, I got knocked out of my form? I didn't even know that was possible. Like, I would have just fought with someone else. You're weak. Hey, new stuff. Nope. Still need to work towards mascot soul. Wait, hang on, but Duke came this way. But, but he came this way, though. Yeah, Brainiac's not gonna work it. Hey, there we go. Ow. There we go. It is really nice how... Oh. That, uh... Patty has, like, different visual effects for her fatal, fatal strikes. Just wants to heal them. There we go. Get back. You get back here. There we go. Alright, so I think that's everything for that Highlander thing. Yeah, I gotta upgrade this stuff. Because that's petrified wood. I thought it was stone. That's so weird, though. Why did why did Duke come from this way when that's not the way he you meant to go to get to the place where you need to be? Makes no sense. I don't like it. I don't like its lack of making sense. I think this guy's stuck. I should have zapped him. Strong. Don't just stick. And they're whining. I'm in normal. Oh, that's it's an altered art which he's now permanently blown. That's why he's that's why he's like, hey. There we go. Disturbing 
Hey, that was booked. You picked the wrong. Okay, cool. Carol wants some at you. Okay, so it's down and around. Just gonna zap you until you. There we go. This one's pretty tough. Don't just stand there. Yeah, I'll go for you. Yeah, this works. That's, that wasn't what I was hoping for, but you know, whatever. There we go, Dad. Get back here, you. Go over here. Victory? Oh, that's easy enough. Damn. Ah, I got plenty of supplies. I can keep doing this. Uh, and it's. Well, let's grab this. New weapon for a cell. That's good. Too bad she's still got a million and one things that she's uh, using. And then left. I'll collect that on my way back. Did not realize where he was. Yeah, they always say that. I missed. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, hey, cool. I, I confused him. And now he's dead. Jeez, I'm just getting the worst look at this. Okay, and now I'm getting lucky. You picked the wrong I can do Hey, mastered skills. Let's just check here. Nope, still need more stuff with that. Cool. Okay, work on the ever blue. Yeah, that's basically the best I've got here. It's gonna avoid you. Wait, I've just wasted my time going this way, haven't I? Okay, that's a new one. That, uh, I, that's in like that's a, an outright new skill. And that's it. Yeah, he is so dead. If it weren't by Rita, it was going to be by me from that. Yeah, yeah. You picked the wrong people. Okay, more stuff. Oh, I mean, I guess a new new item for for these guys. That's good, I guess. Actually, yep. So next weapon. Ah, Highlander was my strongest, wasn't it? Yeah, Highlander's my strongest. Whoops. I wasn't hoping for that one. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm finding this guy then. Focus on the enemy in front. Wait, what? That is uh, um Well, I did something there. I don't know how I did that, but I did that. Yeah, 
Eh, it's just fine. You missed. Uh, yeah, you're still that one. Hey, I'm. That's just really nice to have a. Yeah. Okay, that just outright killed him. Also, I think it must be a magic base attack then. Because that was a lot of damage. Really? This ain't working. This ain't going too good for me. Okay. I mean, I guess I can't always go left ways. I'm just gonna kill this guy. I have been trained by knights. I, I again. I think. Nope. Nope. There we go. I'm nearly dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it this way. I mean, I got nothing to lose here by, you know, doing any of this stuff. That's a bad one. I mean, I poisoned them as well. Cool, let me balls. Cool. So is that? I think I got a new. Yep. Yeah, well, I can. Nothing to... Nothing anymore for the Raven. Nothing more for old Raven. Let me just grab that. Let's get it past you because I'm gonna have to fight you on the way back anyway. Uh, down here. Uh, nope. Nope. It was this way. Okay, I hear the water. I see the water. I see the boss area. I'm 99% certain that I have not played this game for 44 hours, 25 minutes. I'm fairly certain I've played this for like nearly 70 hours at this point. Yeah, so this is what they show, and then you see more of these with fell arms, so it's probably gonna trigger after this. Wow. So this is the oldest spring in the world. It's so quiet. The air is so clear. It feels holy. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but it is so peaceful. Watch it! That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. You came. Hey, that's... We met you at the castle, didn't we? Chroma, was it? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you. Or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What are you... Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans. But neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, maybe. 
If he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength. Here she comes. Okay. All right, this doesn't seem that bad. I say this as he she wipes out is a crap that's under damage. If you cannot defeat me, then there's no point in facing Okay, I didn't know what to do on that, but it's fine, you know. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's not good. That's that's really not good. You know, that's the one I wanted, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, thank you, Rita. Jeez. I jumped right into that one. Okay, I got an idea. What's she weak against? Earth? Okay, so... I'm now going to change this to... Yeah, I got an idea. Perfect. I am so good to make you hurt. Now bring them back to me. Yeah, okay, this is actually working pretty well. I am so good to make you hurt. Now arise and let <laughs> Using too many items against a boss. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna use the powerhouse that is Rita. If I can at least stun him. There we go. Yeah, this is actually working really well. Okay, so I now have my key strategy when I need to, when I am just desperate. Boy, five thousand. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> yep, six thousand to go. We will do as you requested. Leave the rest to us. I mean, okay, it was a bit cheesy. It was a bit cheesy, fair dues. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Is 
Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it. She's sleeping. It's the same as with Gnome. A new comrade has been born. One who controls the winds. At times calm, at times violent. She is not taken by air as was Gnome. She should wake before long. Thank you, Undine. Chroma did say she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. I think there's an item over there as well. Uh, what little bits do I need to do now? So I'm fairly sure and certain, certain that I probably. I mean, it's good to know that the that Rita's overlimit spam is a good strategy to use overall. But I can't imagine that working forever. So I think, yeah, there's no more dungeons. Yeah, there's no more dungeons, unless I've had some new ones in. That was the last dungeon in the game outside of the final dungeon, the EX dungeon, which I don't count the EX dungeon because that's the EX dungeon. Well, it's a big problem, though, with doing that whole Rita overlimit spam is that I am um, against bosses, especially. I have the major, major disadvantage of the simple fact that if I run out of limit, over limits, and I can't replenish more of it, then I am screwed. Like, that strategy is dependent on me having limit bottles. This enemy doesn't look so nice. We must be cautious. Yeah, okay, that's it. I want to check some of here quickly. Because some of it don't seem right. Okay, no, everything seems right. My audio bounce sounded a bit weird in that fight for some reason. That's not what I wanted, but okay. Not what I wanted, but okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Ooh, what have you learned? That was so easy. Okay, no, seriously, why'd you just learn that, Rita? Was it Tidal Wave? Because I'm hoping to God it's Tidal Wave. It is. Perfect. I can do the most spammy of spams. Because I think... One sec, let me check something here. I'm fairly certain... There is... An achievement for getting a 200 hit combo. 150 hit combo. Is that anything else? Nah, it doesn't say the other stuff. But 150 hit combo. I can do that. That is an easy thing for me to do now. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Get ready for anything. Yeah. Man, I want some more. So with Tidal Wave, what I can do... Oh, hey, cool. That'd be really good if I had it earlier. 
What I can do with, ti with Tidal Wave is if I put minimum damage onto Rita, so she always deals one damage, and then using Overlimit Spam. Overlimit Spam. And just fight a whole load of enemies. I can basically indefinitely do... Uh, what do you call it? Indefinitely use it. And since I'll be dealing minimum damage... Victory? Since I'll be dealing minimum damage, I can keep that combo going forever. And the advantage of doing that as well is the simple fact that the higher your combo, the more grades you get. So it's essentially it's a grade farming technique. Ah. There we go. Yeah. Fine. That's the wrong button. Okay, let's do this one. Damn! Goodbye. Yeah, well, I got a lot of points for that, somehow. I generally don't know how. But you know what? I did. Okay, and then around this corner. Oh, no, I ran here, and there we go. <sighs> Finally. Halfway up. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. I just realized that's like a one piece. That's actually a really nice outfit. If I were a chick, I'd wear that. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Good morning, lass. I guess she's awake. Um. So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No, I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well, how about Self? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intelikea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple but efficient. Patty? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochea advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Adafagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Ba'ul can reach you now. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. Yep. Let's leave, because I need to come back here later anyway. We managed to get the four elemental spirits. Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's blastia cores to spirits. Right. If 
we could control the Artifagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terka Lumerains, even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, then we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us, and I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. What are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmet Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. <laughs> well, here we go again. Are you angry, Yuri? Yeah, a little. Is it about the events of Duke's past that Sylph shared with us? So basically, Duke's doing what he's doing to clean up the mess made by an idiot. The whole thing is just so stupid. Even though Duke and Elucifer were both fighting for humanity's sake, it's so sad. Like the hero who shines so bright that people couldn't look at him and got scared. The overwhelming power caused people to fear him. It's all so stupid. Okay. So, more accurate. Huh? I don't remember this. Is Bile doing all right? You sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine, but he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apatheia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet, but he knows that someday he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baul is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it, though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. That part of it is actually not too different from us. The other in Telekea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own, though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Intelikea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me. And I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Intelikea, what the spirits themselves must think. What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. 
or something like that, but without using their voices. Yes. What happened? He says we shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirit said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. We're going to have to go on depending on you until the journey's over, Bowel. He wants you to know you can count on him. Oh yeah, that was a good scene that happened. Oop. Undine, Efreet, Gnome, Sylph, the spirits of the four great elements have been born. The Entelikea were thinking of the planet after all. I was worried there for a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. You call surviving by the skin of our teeth not too bad? Ha! Ow! A anyway, we can defeat the Autobagos for sure now, right? Not yet. There's still too many unknown variables. Hypothesize, test, evaluate, then prove. We have to follow the proper steps to ensure success. I'm not even sure how effective the four elements will be in converting air to mana yet. Wait, could the mana from the loss and materialized air created by the spirits be maintaining the balance? If so, then I shouldn't be measuring the actual value, but... No, that's not right. I mean... Okay, she's gone. Yep, I'd say there's nothing to worry about. Okay. So, here we go again on this whole thing. Do I get the fell arms finally? Nope! That's great. I'm fairly sure it's just anything, but I tell you what, I will search for the fell arms. I will keep searching as I go around to them. Yeah, I think I gotta go here first. Gotta speak to people in Zafius. I think, anyway. Let's see, Vidyuk. Anything here as well? Nope. Or maybe. Oh. Undine, Ifrit, Gnome, and Sylph. With these four spirits, we can change the world. <clears throat> All that's left is figuring out how to use this thing to put an end to the disaster. The spirits didn't figure into my calculations, but their effect should be quite potent. Just leave it to me. Then we've completed one of the goals of our voyage. Right. But the biggest one is still in front of us, though. Still, the situation shouldn't turn against us, I think. Uh, what is it, Patty? Uh, I'm famished. I can't fight in this condition. Why don't you have a skewer like you always do? Now there's a fine idea. I think I'll do just that. I have to draw a line at some point. Okay. I think I gotta speak to Yoda. I could be wrong, though. Also, why do I keep thinking that one of these Critians I speak to, you know, has something for me? I don't know why. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. I wonder. Okay, so I'm fairly certain that's just giving me the failure flag for that quest. To be fair, I think I missed my chance anyway. Fairly certain my chance was missed. Yeah, you know what, let's just go to Tor Harbor. Let's go to Tor Harbor, we'll just advance the story a bit further on. 
Here's the thing. I know the exact areas. I know the particular way. Hang on a second. You look familiar. Never mind. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to go to Ospio. Just because after this I won't be able to. Just in case there's any last second things here. Oh. Perfect. So there was something here. And I'm so glad that I triggered it now because the next cutscene, I lose access to Ospio forever. And there we go, got Reader again. Wonder if there's any other bits here. Let's go here then. I'm pretty sure there was something over here that you could do. Nope. Let's go ahead and just have a quick chat with people. Earthquakes, huh? That's fine. Wait one second. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until this cutscene, this one cutscene is triggered. Oh, okay. Okay. So that was a trigger I don't remember. So let's just run back to Rita's house. And then we're all done in Ospio. Trying to think. Like, again, it's literally a case of me trying to remember which triggers I have and haven't done. The problem is I know the triggers. I I, I know the, trigger, the particular triggers... Of what I need to do, as I have any new ones that they threw in here. Okay, well, I mostly know the trick. I'm fairly sure there's a certain, there's a conversation. I don't know if maybe because of the... Yep. I don't know if it's because of how messy Judith's spear quest is. I might have skipped those flags and can't get them. But they're not critical flags. I hope. Like, there was a flag where you had to go into the uh, into one of the shops at Dongrest. And then there's a conversation that Judith and Rita have involving, like, the Blastia stuff. It seems a bit weird, because I know, I know for a fact I triggered the initial, the initial, um, the initial flags. Like, I need Hill and Gosforost. I don't know. Okay, let's just go ahead and trigger this cutscene then. Well, goodbye, Ospio.
Okay, so I'm 99% certain it's this one. This has become quite a place, hasn't it? Has everyone evacuated crossing the blade drifts? I think they escaped to Tolbekia around Torum. Maybe the ships are back in service now. Anyone would think of running away under a sky like this. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping. Can I join you? Uh, yes. You all wait up at the inn. Okay. So let's just see. I know one of my friends told me of a particular thing that's triggered like right near the very, very end before you go to the final dungeon, but I'm still checking over here just because. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I was, I was, kinda, I was kinda hoping, but you know, it's just fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's see. There's nothing over here, is there? Nope! I will rest here, though, because I know that's one trigger that you can actually get. Traveling under a sky like this? We're short of customers now, so you are really welcome. Okay, that's weird. Just having that bit randomly voiced. Looks like the Teagles got away, too. Even with the road through Emmy Hill open, I'm still worried. I love port towns. They always have stuff. Even in times like this. Looks like things just might work. What did you buy? One of each formula crest and container parts. What are you trying to do? I'm making a device that will converge the spirit's powers. A kind of makeshift Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos. I wonder what Duke is doing now. I don't know. But he seems totally obsessed. <sighs> Patty, what is it? Huh? I'm famished. Want me to make you something? I do appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I'd blow up like a puffer fish if I ate now. Sleeping is the best way to distract oneself from an empty tummy, so good night. They say kids need sleep to grow up, but I doubt Patty's growing up anytime soon. Rita's gonna need a bit more time, too. We should catch some shut eye while we can. Yes, good idea. Yuri, please wake up. I'm up, I'm up. Was that Patty just now? I'm worried about her, running off by herself in the middle of the night. Yeah, but it kind of seemed like there was something weighing on her. Maybe she was thinking about Eifried. Judith, I didn't realize you were awake. Now that you bring it up, she hasn't said a peep about Eifried lately. Rita, you're up too? And so is this old man. I'm going to check on her. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. It's too dangerous to go wandering around alone. It's still pretty risky, just the two of you, Judith, darling. Allow me. I'll escort you. I'm going too. Well, I guess if everyone's going... What's the matter? Hey, sleepyhead, we're going out for a bit. You sit tight and hold the fort. Huh? Where are you going? Don't just leave me here! I guess even the twerp wants to tag along. All right, then we'll all go and take a quick peek. Cool. Uh, and that, just in case. I'm also gonna save because I don't trust this. I don't know. This just—I've got the Marcella thing. Which it's almost fairly certain it is clearly a key item for something. Probably a boss, and Patty's ran off on her own. So I'm not taking a chance in hell. Okay, no me with the mastery after dark, that's fine, I'll just go this way.
Let's... Excuse me, what? Come on. Patty, please wait. What are you all doing here? We could ask you the same question. Why the solo trip out here, hmm? We've gathered the spirits and are about to embark on a life or death mission. I just wanted to settle my own affairs before that. Are you talking about Eifried? This is my problem and mine alone. No one else should have to bear the burden. You say that, but there's really no reason you should go alone. <sighs> hey, that's the Atherum. What is it doing here? Did you call it here, Patty? I thought I saw you holding up the Maristella. So the Maristella is a device that summons that ship. It's reaching out for its other half. Meaning its other half is on that ship? But the Maristella is... Huh? Does this have anything to do with that problem you mentioned? I... Then let's go. Huh? What are you waiting for? You're going to come with me? You know there's no way we'd let you go by yourself. My thanks, but I will be the one to settle what needs settling. You got it. The boat's over there. Time to embark. Hey, does that mean that Eifried is on that ship? Who knows? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Yeah, okay. I'm actually glad that I saved now. I'm gonna keep my best weapons on, because... I am not trusting this to save my life. What the hell? Oh, come on! Watch my back. I just thought something up. Oh yeah, I know that one. That gets more damage to favor way you are. You know, I'm not trusting this to save my goddamn life. So you were looking for that treasure that I freed had hidden, right, Patty? So you could meet him and get your memories back. I... And then you ended up finding the Maristella, right? Well, yes and no. The treasure I freed was searching for was the Maristella. What? So you were both after the exact same thing? Then will you be able to find him now? If I use the Maristella, I'll find him without a doubt. Then that means Eifried must be on this ship. Well, you see... What the heck? Up there. We've defeated that monster here before, haven't we? Patty! Is that Eifried? That? It can't be, but... Whoever it is, we gotta go. Yes. I believe there was a ladder in the captain's quarters. Yep, okay. So... Thankfully, that's a shortcut. That I had taken. I have no idea what's going on here. This is just awfully confusing. Hey, can I see you from up here? Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, I thought Eifried was like this. I thought I think it was like this, like current gen, like current, like within 50 years. Why is he on the Aurea, man? Cypher, it's me. Do you recognize me? Who's Cypher? I thought that was Eifried. I'm pretty sure Cypher was one of Eifried's officers. Patty! Looks like we don't have time to chit chat. Cypher? We're settling this here and now. Okay. 
I'm assuming because of how much she she's been holding on to it. Oh no. Waiting here for a long time. For the end. Maybe. Okay, yeah, true, cool. Alright, sweet. That's good to know. Oh jeez, he's, he's fast! Ah, that final hit. Son of a bitch. This will be fine. Honestly, he doesn't have that much health in comparison. Please don't. I have, yeah, okay. Okay. And to be fair, he's not, uh, he's not dealing that much damage. Yeah, do I have a weak ball? Ow. Well, he's gone over limit. That's great. I'm so good. Missed. I'm just going to keep walking. There we go. Okay, that's bad. Ah! You know, honestly, Yuri... You should just stop with that. God damn it. I am really low on health. I'm gonna limerick this asshole. Wait, I can't. I can't even switch. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Nope. That's not a good sign. Thank you. Nope. Oh, wait, one sec. I can just... Damn it! That's what I wanted. Okay, you know, kind of think of it, this is actually looking fairly bad. Maybe it helps if I actually, you know, have them have their best stuff. Yep, here we go again. Damn. Why did I say that was higher? Damn it. Not good. Yeah. Do I? Nope. I don't. Shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna lorry kill this. That works. Yeah, he's just a tanky boy. Also, I don't know why. If we know his name Cypher, then why ain't we? I can't just wait until I can, you know, end it with a Mystic Art. Yep, nope. Still 130,000 to go. I mean, that combo was working great until he, you know, limit break like that. I'm just gonna wait for that to end. Okay, this is fine. Uh, you know what? Let's try this.
Wow, that was a terrible one. Is that? Let's get some information. I was kind of hoping to finish that with the Mystic Shop, uh, Mystic Op, but you know, fine. Ooh, Pirate's Hats. Hey! I mean, that's the lock. Yeah, for level 6, that wasn't too hard. memories and it took me a while but I finally made it back I knew it she's regained her memories I freed <gasps> that's I freed it is you been a while why is he calling her I freed wait a second I freed is me well, what are you talking about cypher you recognize me? Yes. But you must leave this place before I lose myself and turn on you once more. I will not. I came here to release you from that monstrous form and from the Black Hope's fate. That day I turned my hand against many. Committed a great sin. Is he talking about the Black Hope massacre? They would have only suffered more if you hadn't, like the way you're suffering now. That accident turned them all into monsters, and you saved them! And yet the one who killed them lives freely in this form. You saved me! You let me escape! This time, it's my turn to save you, Cypher. I freed. You'd release me from this agony. You've done so much for me, protecting those scallywags in Siren's Harbor, and you've always supported me. But, and now, it ends. <laughs> Patty. Cypher, you're the only one I... I am sorry to make you suffer so, Ifrit. I'm far from the only one who suffered. You've been through so much worse, Cypher. You're my friend, so I'll shoulder your pain too. And to free you from your misery, I will kill you. Those people, they are the ones helping you through this. Good. Even without your memories, you are not alone. You're not in pain. That was all I was worried about. You've made some wonderful friends, Ifrit. Here, take this. The Maris Gemma. Now I can die in peace. Go on. Do it. I'm... what? Cypher? It's okay to cry if you want to cry, you know. No matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. That's my motto. Patty... I won't cry. Shedding tears is no way to pay my respects to the dear friends I've lost. I am Ifrid, boss of Siren's Fang. So I... I will not cry. I will never cry. I don't want to cry. <laughs> Why did 
did the... How did Patty go from this character that was just kind of this happy-go-lucky and random pirate girl to... to this? Well played, developers and writers. It's so tragic. <sighs> Morning, little Miss Crybaby. So, feeling any better after that nice long cry? I'm perfectly fine. Good. So, now what are you planning on doing? Yeah, now that you got your memories back and you saw what you wanted to see. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm sticking with you guys. Are you sure that's what you want? I. It's not like I'd just abandon you to fight the Autofagos without me. Besides, I've come this far. I want to see it through till the very end. Well, we're glad to have you, Patty. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Um, there's a lot that I've been wanting to ask, but I don't know how. Well, I know we're all dying of curiosity, but you tell us when you're ready. Aye, I'll tell you everything when the time is right. But... What? Judy, what happened? Wait! That's where Osmio is. What's going on? And that's Osbio destroyed. Osbio, what happened to Osbio? What the hell is that thing? It looks like a mountain. Belay that, a building. Tarkaron. Huh? The spirits are telling me that's the tower of Tarkaron. Duke, it's gotta be him. He's going to try to use that against the Autophagos. Please, let me through. You, with the long black hair. Do you have a moment? What do you want? Some people with the Knights wanted me to tell them if I saw someone with your appearance. They said they wanted to talk to you about Flynn, the new Commandant of the Imperial Knights. What? I believe you are the right person. Yeah. Hey, was it a girl with kind of cat-looking eyes and a kid with a head like an apple? Huh? Oh, yes, I suppose so. <sighs> so can I wait at the inn? Yes, that's fine. I'll call them. Okay, so maybe now that's a trigger for the Thelongs. I'm still trying to get over that. That. With I freed. We finally got you. Where have you been wandering around? Yuri. Lowell. <sighs> Sodia? So what's up with Flynn? Oh, right. Many people have fled this continent since that monster covered the sky. But some opposed using a guild fleet to protect the Empire. Flynn could not abide that. A fleet attacked by monsters landed on Hypionia. We fought, but they kept gaining. We alone were sent for aid. But all the knights are spread all over the world. We have no other choice but to ask for your help. But we're too late. Commander Flynn must be... Wow, could you be any more worthless? What did you say? 
You give up already? Everything you've done, what was it all for? I... I did it all for Commander Flynn. Even that one time. Huh. <laughs> you talk about doing it all for Flynn, but you're just whining. You gave up. You forgot your resolve. Resolve? Yo, Applehead. You said Hypionia, right? Y yeah All right. I'll be back soon. All of you get ready to go to Tarkaron. I'm going to. Yeah, me too. You keep forgetting us. I'm glad you want to come, but this seems pretty bad. That's even more reason not to let you go alone. I don't think Baul will listen to you either. All for the guild and the guild for all, right? Well, if we're out of time, let's go and get it over with. I will follow you to the day I die, and with more moxie than a snapping moray eel. Okay, okay, so let's get going. Yeah! Brave Vesperia, charge! <laughs> Go get him! All right, Sodia. Let's reform the support units. Oh, okay. Yuri Lowell. Pretty sure there's a cutscene here. I'll trigger that. Yuri Lowell! Why? Why didn't you call me out for my actions that time? I... I tried to kill you! Oh, <laughs> I'm not letting it go. But I don't have time to deal with someone who gave up on everything. I haven't given up. No? So why haven't you gone to help Flynn, even alone? You wanted to protect him so badly you'd kill me! Why won't you protect him now? I... I can't protect him by myself. Please, save him. Please. You don't have to tell me to do that. Please. You know, there's one thing I agree with you on. Mm -hmm. I'm a criminal. I could be killed anytime. Flynn is the perfect knight. A perfect leader. He doesn't need a criminal by his side. Uh I'm just standing in until the right person comes along. Yuri. Flynn always seems to put himself in danger. He's always that way. He doesn't mind getting hurt if it means protecting others. Yeah, he gets a little crazy sometimes. Like you're any different. Birds of a feather, right? I'd say we're all like that. Like what? We all stuck with brave Vesperia, even when the going got rough. <laughs> I guess none of us can just let things go. Right, so we can't just let Flynn go either. Yeah, exactly. Well, since we can't let it go, I think it's time we get a little crazy. All right, I'm going to save because I'm out of time. Seriously, that time has to be way, way, way wrong. Oh, well.